Welcome back to The Watch List. I'm Nicole Petalides. Want to talk about cybersecurity, and it sounds strange to start the sentence with cybersecurity and AT&T. AT&T just announced it's creating a standalone cybersecurity business with capital investment from Wilgem Ventures. So Roger Entner is with us, founder, lead analyst at Recon Analytics. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we don't normally say cybersecurity and AT&T together in the same sentence, so this is a big move, an important one at that. So tell me a little bit about it. Do you think it's a good idea? Well, absolutely. AT&T has been in the cybersecurity business for uh, quite a number of years. Uh, it's a rapidly evolving uh, market, and uh, it is uh, found a partner in uh, creating a standalone business with uh, Will Jam Venture Ventures, and this allows then uh, AT&T to uh, live up to its promise, right? To uh, become a more uh, simple and focused company and it realigns its uh, security portfolio by by spinning out the business and creating a standalone business called Knight. And uh, the advantages are, are very clear. Uh, it allows AT&T still to uh, provide its customers with cybersecurity solutions. Uh, it opens up the market for uh, companies that have uh, an interest in the services, and it's it's a, a rapidly growing market. Uh, with with Willjam, it opens up to more uh, more companies, and uh, it also allows AT and T to focus more on uh, security embedded in its own network, and so. Uh, in addition to it, AT&T retains an ownership stake, and so it has upside uh, through that, uh, you know, equity. So let me ask you this, and I think it's interesting, and I don't, I'm not implying that it's based on this, um, but the timing is interesting. One of the board members who bought 100,000 shares of AT&T stock in November of 2021, that same board member has not bought um, shares, an open market purchase of AT&T in almost in about in just over two years. Guess what? Well, Stephen Luxow bought 62,000 shares of AT&T on, on Monday. So um, on on the, uh, the 16th, it said. So um, he paid almost a million dollars for that. It's nice to see when the board members put their money. In, in work and they believe in the company, but do you think that AT&T stock could really benefit from this uh, cybersecurity move or something else? Is AT&T a buy at $16? Well, I'm, I'm not aware that uh, about board members buying or selling uh, shares. Uh, in, in general, I think AT&T uh, is a buy uh, as are are many other companies in the in the in the telecommunications market, they're uh, beaten up uh, quite a bit and probably too much. Uh, this deal here, uh, in the big picture, it's an important uh, move to uh, to clear up and and to clean uh, the the portfolio. But I don't think. Uh, this in itself will create a, a significant change in the in the stock price of of AT and T. You said you like a few of the telecom names. You said you would buy AT and T here. What other names would you buy that you think provide some value to investors? For example, uh, T Mobile is always uh, a a good purchase. Uh, AT um, T Mobile is uh, is executing very well, and uh, promised uh, share buy uh, buybacks and and just issued a significant dividend, and it's 
they're, they're executing very well and the, the 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 market is on their uh on their side right now so i would look at at t-mobile as another company i would uh i would certainly invest in yeah yeah um managed security is a big deal for you talked about um, AT&T has been focusing on security and the network and for these telecom stocks it's a big deal overall right we're showing some of the others there Verizon for example but the takeaway is it's an important part of the business right well it's an important part of business but it's also a business that is heavily uh, uh, based on consulting and uh, carriers typically are not very strong in consulting so uh by spinning this out they can participate in that the the new company knight can focus much more on a consultative uh sales approach and so it's a win-win situation for both uh at and and uh will jam as the new uh as the new majority owner yeah. And just um, when we think about the group and the headwinds and the battle, I mean, there was such a battle for broadband between these telecom companies. Then there was a lot of talk how T-Mobile was ahead of the others when it came to 5G. Um, AT&T has invested a lot in fiber. In the end, um, what would you say may be a big headwind facing the telecoms as a group? Well, a, a big headwind is uh you know what we're one of the things that we're seeing here is asymmetric competition uh the wireless part of these all of these companies wireless company or, or telecom companies and cable companies are now uh comprehensive communications providers they all are providing uh fixed communications and wireless communications and what's very interesting is that the cable companies are winning in wireless and uh, the telcos that are traditionally very strong in, in wireless are winning in broadband. And so uh, this makes a very uh, unusual uh, dimension and, and uh, investors are skittish about it, uh, especially as uh, because they're afraid that price competition would come in and that we would have a scenario like we see in Europe. Uh, that's the that's the big fear where we have it where in Europe we have intense price competition, whereas in the United States uh, we see uh, a lot less of that, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the telcos and the cable companies are actually able to raise prices, and so I think the the, the fears are are overblown. Roger Entner, thank you of Recon Analytics.